Yehovah Eloheinu Tzvaot, Kadosh, 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 please fill me and lead me and cover me with the Ruach HaKodesh, that I may speak your written words with boldness to those who listen. I ask all these things in Yeshua HaMashiach's name. Amen. We'll start with the Shema. Listen and obey. Children of Yehovah, pay careful attention and respond. Yehovah is our power and authority. Yehovah works in unity with himself. And you shall act upon your love to Yehovah with your power and authority, with your thoughts and mind, with your entire body, and with all the muchness that you have. Yod, hey, vav, hey. Hand, behold, nail, behold. Judges chapter 14. Shimshon went down to Timnah, and in Timnah he saw a woman who was one of the Plishtim. He came up and told his father and mother, I saw a woman in Timnah, one of the Plishtim. Now get her for me to be my wife. His father and mother replied, Isn't there any, any woman from the daughters of your kinsmen or among all the people? Must you go to the uncircumcised Plishtim to find a wife? Shimshon said to his father, Get her for me. I like her. His father and mother didn't know that all this time came from Yehovah, who was seeking grounds for a quarrel with the Plishtim. At that time, the Plishtim were ruling Israel. Shimshon went down with his father and mother to Timnah. When they came to the vineyards of Timnah, a young lion roared at him. The spirit of Yehovah came powerfully upon Shimshon. And barehanded, he tore the lion to pieces as easily as if it had been a young goat. But he didn't tell his father or mother what he had done. Then he went down and talked with the woman and found he still liked her. A while later, as he was returning to claim his bride, he turned aside to look at the carcass of the lion and saw that there was now a swarm of bees in the body of the lion and honey. He scraped the honey out of his hands, out into his hands, and went on eating as he went. And when he came to his father and mother, he gave them some, and they ate too. But he didn't tell them that he had scraped the honey out of the body of a lion. His father went down to the woman, and there Shimshon gave a banquet. This is what the young men used to do. When the Plishtim saw him, they provided thirty companions to be with him. Shimshon said to them, let me present you with a riddle. If you can solve it within seven days of the banquet and tell me the solution, I will give you 30 linen shirts and 30 changes of good clothes. But if you can't solve it, you give me 30 linen sheets and 30 changes of good clothes. They answered, Tell us the riddle. We want to hear it. So he said to them, Out of the eater came food, out of the strong came sweetness. Three days passed, and they couldn't solve the riddle. On the seventh day, they said to Shimshon's wife, Coax your husband and to tell us the solution to the riddle. Otherwise, we'll burn down your father's house and you with it. You two called us here to turn us into paupers, didn't you? Shimshon's wife went to him in tears and said, You don't love me. You hate me. You told a riddle to my fellow countrymen, and you haven't told me the answer. He said to her, Look. I haven't even told my father and mother. Should I tell you? But she, had, but she had been crying throughout the seven days of the banquet, so on the seventh day, because she had kept pressing him, he told her the solution, and she passed it on to her people. Then before sundown on the seventh day, the men of the city said to him, What is sweeter than honey, and what is stronger than a lion? Shimsham answered, If you hadn't plowed with my young cow... You wouldn't have solved my riddle now. So the spirit of Yehovah came over him powerfully. He went down to Eshkelon, killed 30 of their men, took their good clothes, and gave them to the men who had solved the riddle. He was boiling with rage, so he went straight up to his father's house, and his wife was given to the companion who had been best man at the wedding. How can we learn to love our Creator after reading this 14th chapter of Judges? Guard your eyes and your heart. Aim to marry someone who fears Yehovah, the Elohim of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, also Israel. Honor your father and mother. 
Aim for the spirit of Yehovah to come powerfully upon yourself and glorify Yehovah with your actions. Aim to remain clean in the eyes of Yehovah. Humble yourself before Yehovah. Be honest with each other. Aim to do good from the perspective of Yehovah. How can we love others as Yeshua loves us? We can encourage others to fear Yehovah and obey His mitzvot, commands. Bear one another's burdens. We can humble yourself before Yehovah and fear and obey Him. Produce spiritual fruit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, humility, self-control. We'll end with the Arianic blessing using the name. Yehovah will kneel before you presenting gifts, and He will guard you with a hedge of protection. Yehovah will illuminate the wholeness of His being towards you, bringing order, and He will provide you with love, sustenance, and friendship. Yehovah will lift up the wholeness of His being and look upon you and will set in place all you need to be whole and complete.